How's it going and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my condensation overflow water removal kit. Now in the AC world, a very common problem that we have when we're out in the field is the drain line clogs up, it overflows the internal pan, and it goes down into the overflow pan to where it finally kills the unit because hopefully there's a safety switch installed. But what happens is typically the uh, safety switch that is designed it allows the pan to fully fill up with water, which means there is a ton of water to remove because the most of the time we're gonna have a 30 by 60 drain pan or 30 by 30, and it's gonna have about a two to three inch lip. So that's a lot of water to remove. And if it's in the attic, um, you know, going up and down, dragging up a you know wet dry vac can be a pain in the butt. So this is a kit that I came up with. I just threw it in a Milwaukee crate here but it's a very simple kit. There's not really a whole lot that's in here. I'm gonna break it down for you. So the first thing is, I like to power it up so I don't have to worry about running an extension cord. So I use the Milwaukee top off here. This is a 140 watt inverter. You slap on an M18 battery, whatever size you got will work. And that's gonna power up the transfer pump. Now the transfer pump that I picked up, it's an Everbuilt. That's the brand name, it's from Home Depot. I wanna say it was around 150 bucks. I'll leave a link down in the description for you for all of these products, so that way if you wanna get a kit yourself, it'll be easy for you. Anyhow, it's a very small pump. You have your, um, your input and your output, and it does come with, now this is, this is what makes this really super nice. This particular setup here, this pickup, because it is like an eighth of an inch off of the actual pan and it's a wide pickup screen here, that's gonna allow you to remove the water almost all the way down to the, to the bottom of the pan itself. And it does it very quickly. And if you're using just a traditional vacuum, man, it just takes forever. You could basically set this flat on the pan. It just sucks all the water up quickly. And um, all you have to do is hook it up to the input side of this transfer pump. And then you have a separate hose here which I just picked up from Home Depot. It's a separate hose. Uh, I wanna say it's like six feet long maybe. What I like to do is whenever I get to the job and I know that the drain line is clogged up, the first thing I do is go outside, get my little M12 uh, wet dry vac battery powered, and I'll vacuum out the drain line. That's the very first thing that I do. Then I'll go up in the attic and I'll hook up this whole little kit. If the drain line doesn't already have like a breather on it, I can go ahead and connect that directly to it. But if there's nothing there, I'll cut the line. And what I'll do is I can install a union like this that'll allow me to hook up and actually pump all the water out of that pan directly into the drain line. So we're doing two things there. We are removing all the water in the actual pan and we're gonna be flushing the drain line out with a lot of water, which is great. So you wanna make sure you vacuum that line out really good first so that way you're not gonna be backing it, uh, back it up or anything, but that's what in a nutshell, what we're looking at. And what I like to do is have several different fittings in here. So that way, if I need to you know, put a 90 fitting on there, I can do that and it's not gonna you know, kink the hose over or anything like that. And then I keep a cap in there too. So that way, when I'm going up there the first time to inspect everything, if it does have a breather, I just put the cap on it real quick, go outside, vacuum that line out, come back off, remove it, install this and it pumps all the water out super fast, super quick. And with this, again, with this pickup here, I'm able to get really close to the actual pan. So, I mean, you can pretty much get every ounce of water out of that pan. I mean, you could take a, a towel and just wipe it down if you wanted to, but with that minimal amount of water left, it's just gonna evaporate pretty quick, especially if it's up in an attic. So anyhow, I get a lot of questions on this kit. So I figured I'd make a separate video on what that looks like for me, how I use it in the field, and how it just makes my job so much easier. So again, I'm gonna leave links down in the description for you for this kit. Um, I'll also put this Milwaukee top off in there as well. Um, you don't have to have that if you wanna use an extension cord, but a lot of the times there's not an outlet close by, so having this is super convenient. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. I wanted to give you a quick, simple, um, idea on how this can make your job a whole lot easier and more efficient, not carrying up 
you know, a bucket of water or a, you know, a vacuum full of water up and down ladders, um, whatever the situation is for you. Anyhow, give it a thumbs up if you guys like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.